Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to show you how uh, to make this type of 3D text here. Uh, Alright, let me just get right to it. You need to get a script first of all. I'm just going to close this out. And you need this 3D extrusion script that you can pick up at uh, GimpScripts.com. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick the script up. You just uh, scroll down to here, hover over where, it's, over where it says 3D Extrusion, and click on that, and it'll it'll download for you, like it like it did here. I already have it installed, so it's no big deal. Anyway, uh, anyway, I'll leave the link in the description where you can pick that up because you're gonna need. You're going to need uh, that script to uh, do this one. Anyway, we'll start with a new file, the default file, 460 by 400. And we'll put out some text. Um, we'll leave it just black. And I got, I got the text set to uh, this text here, Planet uh, Cosmos. And I'm going to type out 3D T E X T. And I have the spacing set a little wide, a little uh, more spacing of 15. That's to give the uh, extrusion that's going to be used a little space, a little room. Alright, now we want to center this by clicking the um, alignment tool and clicking our text and clicking align middle of target and then clicking distribute horizontal center of target and there we go it's centered now we go uh, what I like to do is go text to path creates a nice uh, path for our text to follow if we need if we need a path at least we have that okay now uh, we go uh, new layer OK, click OK, and s go to uh, Selection from Path. I find that this usually makes a better selection than going Alpha to select, but anyway, we'll fill this with um, a gradient. I have I've selected a gradient. You can use any gradient you want. I have this gradient butterfly too. I'm not sure where I got it from, but anyway. I'm just going to uh, stroke that down, straight down, uh, to make it something I desire. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go uh, select none. Now this is where the extrusion uh, script comes in. Filter, render, 3D extrusion. I already have this set to 225 you can go you have all these options you can go in between but I'll just set it to 225 with uh, a, an extrusion depth of 8 I believe 10 is the uh, default we'll just reset it and show you yeah 10 is the default so we'll just set that to 8 and this to 225 and I'm going to leave everything else at default and not use any pattern overlays and click OK. It renders pretty quickly. And there's our extrusion right here, our extrusion layer. It's pretty similar to our uh, gradient layer that we laid out earlier, but it's beneath our main gradient layer that we used our path. Uh, we uh, did a uh, selection from the path and placed out our gradient here. So there's our extrusion. Now I like to take the color and set it, make it a little darker, give it some more contrast. Or I could use uh, curves to make it darker. Like that. Then um, I could also use curves on the uh, text layer. This, uh, not text layer, it's a 
uh, stroke gradient layer. Anyway, uh, we could go color curves on that. Set that maybe a little darker or a little lighter. Like that. Now, uh, also I like to make the layer above, above this layer here, this layer, and stroke that with a color. Let's try this color here, kind of yellow. Uh, we'll stroke that with, uh, we'll go with one. Okay. And then we'll brighten that up a little. Brightness and contrast. There we go. Now we got it all together. We can put our drop shadow on this layer, on our extrusion layer. So we can go filter, lights and shadow, drop shadow. I'm just leaving this all at default with the black drop shadow, 60% opacity and allow for resizing. And there you go. That's pretty simple. You need the extrusion script, the 3D ex extrusion right here, 3D extrusion to do this. Now that's pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Ciao.